like Silverman. Welcome to Cheap Show. And a go and I nuzzle. Hello, hello, hello. Testing. One, two, three. It is me, Paul Gannon, streaming on Twitch live in your faces. And um, all we're doing today, I'll tell you what we're doing today. First off, I'll get it out of the way. We are dealing with Bosch. This is our little set today. So, I've been trying to get this for a little while now. Also, hello everyone. Hello, hello everyone. Uh, I'm in my PJs, just so you can see me little PJs. Can you see them? Because what's the point of putting on proper clothes, right? Uh, anyway, I got this. This is the uh, Doctor's TARDIS. It's nice. Uh, I was trying to get this for a while on eBay. Uh, had no luck. It was always going for about £70, £80 pound at the end of an auction. Uh, and then one guy was selling it, saying there were loads of pieces missing, but if you wanted to buy it, you could. So I offered him 20 quid. He said, yes, I have this. It came in a Ziploc bag. Bits all over the place. No instructions. So I downloaded that. Not the end of the world. Turns out, in the end, he had every bit. He had every bit. There's the TARDIS. And it goes like this. You take the roof off. Like that. This comes open like that. No, no, you've got to flop the flips up. There we go, flop the flips. Oh, that's come off. Anyway, and then it slides on here like that. Hang on, let's do this. Here we go. So you can have a better, have a better look at it. Where, where in geography is my camera? There we go. So I, today, will be attempting to take this and light it up like I have done with the... Um, Ghostbusters Ecto-1 and uh, Ecto-1 and the Firehouse. Also, point of interest, a lovely chap on Twitter uh, said he's going to try and throw me together as many sp spare parts as possible so we can make a uh, Ecto-1A from Ghostbusters 2. So that's my next project. I'll get a second-hand Ecto-1. I'll buy the light kit for Ecto-1, but I'll also buy the extra bricks to turn it into an Ecto-1A. Windows open. <coughs> uh before we do any of that, though, I think it's time we check in with someone. I think that's only fair. Let's check in. Here we go. Hello? Hello. Hey, it's Mr. Silverman. How you doing? Hi. Hi, I'm okay. Yeah? Yeah, how are you? I'm all right. What are you doing? Doing something with Lego or something? Yeah, do something with Lego. What? The Doctor Who one? Yeah. How's it going? It's going all right. I've only just started, yeah. really. You're live on Twitch right now with me, Paul Gannon. I keep talking and Come looking on, at the mic. Mate. What? What? What's up then? I don't know. I was going to ask you. What? Have you listened to the latest episode? Out now no. on all podcast apps. I just retweeted it though. You'll be pleased to hear. That's good. Hair Führer. Yeah. <laughs> do you mean Hair Führer? You don't do much for the fucking show in the first place. And I oh, ask you yeah. to tweet. Oh, and is, it... this why, is this why you called me up? Is this why you called me up? No, it's not why I called you up particularly. I called you up because, you know, you can't... Who the fuck's got a bike? The loudest bike in the world. Christ! I'm sure bikes aren't meant to sound like that, ladies and gentlemen. Hang on a sec, Paul. Go on, right. Well, this is going great. So, hello, everyone. Uh, Eli live from the House of Pickles on the phone as a, as a guest. Can't wait to ask him some hot questions about behind the scenes on Cheap Show and all dish the dirt on what it's like to be on the world's most popular economy comedy podcast. Are you back? I'm just... I'm putting my headphones on. Hang on. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Right, good. You still hear me? I can still hear you. So, what's it like yeah. working with Paul on Cheap Show? What are you talking about? You are Paul. I know, but I'm asking you a celebrity interview, aren't I? All right. What's it like working with... What? He's a cunt. Right, good. Okay, well. <laughs> I mean, what do you 
what do I to say? Not much. What am I supposed to say? Not <laughs> much. Just be, I don't know, be nice. All right, he's not, he's, he's sometimes a cunt. <laughs> Thanks. Okay? Yeah. So you're playing poker uh, later tonight with your friends, are you? Yeah, I've got the um, the Friday poker tournament. There's two tournaments, Paul. Yeah. And uh, they're each a uh, fiver entry. Mm-hmm. With three buys for the first half hour, which means you can buy again for five. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, and the first three positions win. So winner takes all is how poker tournaments are played. Cool. And that's online, isn't it? Yeah. Because you're not allowed to meet people in real life. No, of course it's online, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, oh, there I you mean, go. Yeah. Well, what exciting things have you got coming up in the week? Fuck all, man. I bought, I bought, a, I bought a type of chunky Kit Kat I haven't seen before just now. Why was it different? Was it different flavour? Give me more information. Yeah. What do you mean, was it a different flavour? What the fuck kind of... What? What? Because <laughs> it was a fucking... That's self-evident that it was a different fucking flavour, Paul. Right. A different kind. What's a different kind? It's food. A different kind yeah, of food is... It might have been like... That's self-evidently a flavour. Self-evidently a different flavour. Paul. It's hazelnut and uh, raspberry. And... It was good, isn't it? <laughs> that so, is good. I haven't tried it. Right. So it's just sitting there waiting to be eaten then. Yeah. Right. Good stuff. So uh, do you want to pimp anything? Are you doing Soho listen, Radio? This? Listen, mate. Listen, mate. Right. I didn't know. I was on the shitter now. <laughs> just now. <laughs> you know? And you tell me I'm fucking broadcasting. Sorry if I can't be on all the fucking time. I'm trying to be relaxed in my fucking downtime. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well. Have you got anything, <laughs> anything you might, else? I thought you might want to pimp your Soho radio show. Okay. I don't know what's happening with that this week, actually. Okay. So, but it, it'd probably be on uh, two till four on Soho radio. You go to the Soho radio uh, London.com yeah and then you go to listen live there's a listen live tab there listen. yeah yeah good anything Easy. else you, anything else you want to pimp anything exciting going on in your life that you want to promote no literally that's it I've got I mean my friend did a kung fu a lockdown kung fu film with his kids do you want to give and, us that uh, information then I've done the and I've done the voiceover Oh, so that uh, is that I suggesting played, you're doing a, a racist, stereotypical Asian accent then in the in the video? No, no, it's, it's like I think I've, 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 discovered, I've un- uncovered a scoop here, ladies and gentlemen. Eli Silverman no, is does oh, racist voices. Off. I was on the shitter just now, <laughs> right? Oh, do your fucking favour, get more people fucking watching your stupid Lego Hour or whatever the fuck this is, you know? Well, you didn't add much, and did I you? Of, I get accused of being a fucking racist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a right, well, that's the end of Eli anyway. Bye. He can't defend himself. He hung up on me. You saw him. I challenged them with the big questions and he couldn't answer. So there we go. So thank you, Eli, for uh, being on the show. Yeah. Quite the revelation, I think you'll find, ladies and gentlemen. How are we doing in the chat room as we go over to our next camera setup and finally get this going here? Right, so here we go. Let us maybe use this one. That one gives a bit more space and you can then see a bit more of my pyjama pants. Right, so put you to one side for a second. I am not going to complete this today. I decided just out of spite not to do it, but I am going to get started. So um, as you saw with the other two uh, projects I did, well, four, three actually, including the firehouse, um, there were, um, it was fiddly and annoying. And I have a, I, I threw a paddy on once or twice off camera with the firehouse. So I want to just get started with this. 
because this is all very nice. This is by Bricks Max. So far, I've used like three different companies for each of the sets, like light tailings or what the other one was called in uh, light brick. I can't remember now for the firehouse. So uh, this is another one. And it was on Amazon. I think it was about £18. They do go for a lot more depending on who you get them from. I don't know what the quality is like from one set to another, but they all tend to seem similar. So with that being said, let's have a look inside. And I presume it's like, yeah, it's just like the last kit. But look. Oh no, look at all this. Wires. Wires. Oh, they are labelled though. It So it, that helps. That helps considerably. I'm glad he like called, by the way. We had a bit of a laugh because this is going to be dry as fuck for the next little while. And look, there's a little thing and a thing. That's nice. Let's have a look at the book. No. Uh, no, put it down there. That is a redunculous idea. Let's have a look at the book. Oh, na, 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 na. Do not moisten the wires. I'll do my best. Right, user guide. So, like most of these sets, they give you the gist of how to wire things, where to put the bricks, how to fold the wires, the tape. See so how to wrap the wire so you can hide it. Don't do it like that, or you'll crush the wire. There you go. See, there are there are ways. Uh, connect to certain points. Now, I've done these a few times, so this is all reasonably familiar to me. Reasonably. Battery pack. That's, yeah, that's broke. All right, cool. Right, that's that one. Over there. Next. Oh, service card. Happy. Unhappy. Glücklich. Unglücklich. Content. Me content. <laughs> Happy and unhappy. Oh, you're all getting a language lesson at the same time. This is nice. Feliz. Infeliz. Satisfactua. No satisfactua. And finally, don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, talk with other LEGO fans online. Show your experiences via video to YouTube sign. Upload videos to Instagram sign. Show you any Lego set to Twitter sign. Warranty, help, problem solved. Fine, all good. Now we get into the meat of it. Yeah. Right. Now I've had, a, I've had a quick look. If you don't, if you don't mind this, the lies. This is not virginal out of the box. It's not a unboxing video. Um, so I had a quick look at the instructions, and it doesn't look all that complicated. It's, it's certainly compared to the firehouse, this won't be a ball lake at all. But luckily, it does tell you what wires to get out. The AO one that's labelled. That's nice, actually, because sometimes it just tells you what the label looks like, and you have to go by that. And sometimes they look very similar. So at a glance, you can get confused. And also, when I did the firehouse, it was from a Chinese website that I had to translate into English, so the broken English made it very difficult to figure out what bit was what. Uh, measure twice, cut once. Do your prep. Read through a few times before you get started. That being said, let's get started doing this without any prep. Um, no, 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 no. Right, so what have we got here? Only one way to insert it, otherwise it will be damaged. That is a very good point. Uh, Oh, that's the first one. Two. That's what it looks like. So, yeah. Right. Oof. It's all happening. It's all happening, ladies and gentlemen. I tell you what, I'll be honest with you. I have to pee. So I'm going to do that. But for the next few minutes, here's a quick advert. Thank you. Hey, kids. Let's play happy or sad. Happy. That's unhappy dog. Happy. The dog is laughing. Good to see a happy dog. This is a happy one. Sad. A sad dog. Happy again. This dog is a devil. Be gone. Be gone, Satan. Not happy. Sad. Happy dog. A real smiler. A miserable c***. Two happy dancing boys. I'd like to touch them on their noggins. A big laughing dog. 
Oh no. Cut's back. That wasn't enough time. Anyway, uh, I've just been sorting the wires out. Thank you to Mr. Biffo for that. Uh, if you missed, was it last Saturday? Wow. Last Saturday's spoiled variety performance. You can now watch it on YouTube. It is me and Eli dicking about like the CBBC broom cupboard uh, setup with clips from some of our favourite content creators such as Suze Kemp and Daryl, Ben Baker from uh, Don't Let's Chart podcast. Uh, brain gone blank. Mr. Biffo, Ashens, Ash Frith. They all gave a little bit. It's Richard Sandling. So they've all got projects coming up. You can watch that video on YouTube now. It's about two and a half hours long and it's just about watchable. Um, let's crack on with this. It is 20 past. So let's see how much I can get done in 40 minutes. Right. Take the TARDIS off. Right, I'll take the TARDIS off then. And it slides out oh, nicely. I will say this. This is nicely made. And in fact, the saddest thing about this kit, in my opinion, is that once um, once the uh, it's all lit up, once it's all connected, you can no longer really separate. As far as I know, you can no longer separate the TARDIS from uh, the uh, console set. I mean, it's part of the problem with these. With the firehouse, it's not too bad because you can hide the wires and it all rests on the roof. Uh, with the Ecto ones, you do get a rat tail hanging out the back of your Lego machine that you have to be careful with not to damage or break or pull off the back of your Lego car. Um, once I have a nice shelf, my Ghostbusters Shrine of Lights will amaze and delight you. But until then, dinner table. Uh, right. So that's the TARDIS. That's what one looks like. We'll come back to that later. Also, when you get the kit, you do get fig mini figs. Clara, who I love. Um, Peter Capillary. Yeah, Peter Capillary. He was the uh, 400th Doctor. And now, thanks to uh, the new showrunners of Doctor Who, it could be. Ha 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 ha. You can't prove that that's not the 400th Doctor anymore. I win. Um, and then you do get, oh, I like this. You do get an angel with a face that turns. You can take its hair off and look, there's another face on the back. Very expressive. Oh, I've broken it. Angel. And then finally, you do get, unfortunately, none of these get lit up, but you do get two little Daleks, which, you know, are Daleks in Lego. As best as you're going to get them. I kind of feel bad that the guy sold me these dirt cheap because he thought there was not enough bricks to make it. And as it turned out, there was one too many. That's not true. One piece was missing. I'll show you it now. One of these. One of these. And one shy of these. I presume you can go online and find these. So that's that. Shall we carry on? It's been 23 minutes and we're only just getting started now. So take the TARDIS off. Right. Then take the whole console off. Ooh. Right, God, I don't want my crotch in shot for most of this. Is that all right? Is that all right? Oh, my gut. Oh, Jesus, God. Oh, Jesus, wet. No one wants to see that. This is not... This is not what we wanted to be doing. Right. Oh, look, you can see... You can see the Streamlabs and how it works. Right. Take the console off. I presume it comes off in one go, then, judging by the picture... Where this is what this is my least favorite part of it taking all the Lego apart. That's nice though, isn't it? Just as a little bit of Lego design, that's quite nice. <sighs> Next, where are we? Right at the front where the stairs are. Here we go. We're going to take our first two lights, and they're going to be these two. So, uh, remove them. This is, I tell you what, I will say this the pictures are small because obviously saving money making the booklet. I get it. Um, but they do go out of their way to tell you what cable you need, what stage to do, don't rush your head, one bit at a time. And it's only got 56 steps. And some of those are probably... Oh, don't forget to plug it in, Governor. Right, so it wants me to take these little white, like white clear plastic lights off the front. We're doing it. Oh, I will have to replace them. Once again, I don't have nails, so all of this Lego picking is owie. It says A01. A01. 
or one. Ah, thank you. Hey, or right. Um, and to end this episode at nine o'clock, I will be uh, playing a little video from our uh, archive, the Cheap Show archive. And I thought I'd go back to the olden days since we're five years old this year. Five years old Cheap Show. Who would have believed it? I genuinely don't. I'm surprised we're still doing it. And I'm surprised we've got the brilliant audience that we do. So thank you all. And also the Patreon people and the Twitch people and the people people. Thank you all. Uh, so I thought we'd go back to the early days when it was known as the Uncleakables. Uh, and then we, re we renamed it Cheap Show. We realised the Uncleakables was a god-awful name for a uh, podcast, which is true. Do that tilt. So here's the cables, AO1. So I'm going to be showing you a clip of that later at the end of the show. Uh, it is the baby food eating challenge, I seem to believe. One of our earliest moments of going, ah, this is the formula of Cheap Show. So there you go. Right. Uh, la, 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 la. The cables right it says there's four and there are and it wants me to put two on the front see again look how bloody delicate these are all this stuff is oh mother i don't like it i'm not see my dad's quite a um he's one of these guys who who's, who's created his craft was working with his hands he was a sheet metal worker uh, that was his trade worked for camel herds the old ship um, dockyard in Birkenhead on the Mersey made lots of ships, battleships, warships, I presume. Uh, so he's quite crafty. He likes this kind of stuff. Um, I kind of don't have the patience, which is my problem. I understand that. Um, but when I do bits like this, I do genuinely enjoy myself uh, considerably. It's a bit difficult. I can't really enjoy it when I'm talking and chatting and keeping an eye loosely on the chat room um if i do my best right eight is lay it there and it pro presumably put the brick on top of it yeah it's that put it on there like this here like that and then put the brick on top of it now again these bits always worry me because one i, I don't know how strong and how much of a battering you can take so far they've been all right but also, I don't want to break the LEDs when uh, putting these things back. So, one. We are one light connected down. And then it says stretch the line out. All right, can do. Number 10, repeat for the same side. Yeah, right, we are we are attaching lights, ladies and gentlemen. We are attaching lights. Uh, yes, I'm only running until nine today, mainly because uh, my girlfriend, who I love and I live with, uh, would really like it if I didn't spend all night talking about Lego on Twitch in her living room when she wants to watch telly or snuggle on the couch and have a meal. I should do that. So uh, just an hour tonight, maybe a wee bit more. Uh, but uh, here we go. Put you on here like that. Oh, God, please don't break the thing. Oh. All this stuff frightens the living crap out of me. Not the end of the world, I guess, but if you break one, then the symmetry of these things are all fucked as a result. Right. That's unraveled somewhat. All right, that's not a problem. We're, we're cracking on. Uh, uh, if possible, could you or Paul raid Ariel at the end of the stream? She's trying to raise some money for charity. I don't know how to do a raid, but if Pseudo Sapien does, Pseudo Sapien will. I know it's probably complicated. And if it's not, it will probably be too complicated for me. Because again, I want to do a big shout out to Pseudo Sapien. Without Pseudo Sapien's help, uh, none of this would be possible. Genuinely. Uh, uh, Pseudo's been a, uh, a sage, a guide through all of this. And also has their own channel. So go check it out. She'll put a link in. Right, next, that's done. And that's done, and that's done. And now it wants me to flip the bugger over. Here we go. Flipping it over. Hopefully you can see all this all right. Hopefully, oh, balls. Hang on, hang on, mother. There we go. This camera's clasped. Uh, there we go. This camera's clasped. 
just like me, has a very tenuous grip on reality. That's not great. <laughs> right. Uh, right, that's come off the bottom of my camera. Great. Right, okay, now it wants me to remove this bottom section. So let's now do that. So it needs me to leave those bits on. Uh, okay. Yeah, all right, that's fine. We got that bit removed. Da, 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 da. Next. Uh, right, take that off. And now, oh, now we're getting busy. It wants me to get out a fair few of these buggers now, so I'm gonna have to do some wire management. While I'm not using these, I like to replace them in the wallet. It makes sense, you don't lose bits, and you know what you're putting back. That's my top tip. Not that I'm a Lego expert, I'm not. It's funny, I didn't really, uh, I used to like Lego as a kid, but as an adult, I, I shunned it, mostly because it was all Star Wars initially. When Star Wars, I, I would say in the 90s, not many people were playing with Lego until in the late 90s they brought out the Star Wars set. And then that's when you got all of this Ghostbusters, Dimensions, Lord of the Rings stuff. That's when it went crazy. So, you know, licensing did work out for Lego, I think. Um, but I didn't get into it until the Ghostbusters set came out and then it became an obsession. Not an obsession, there's not that much to it. I do wish they'd bring out an Ecto 1A though, just on its own. But I'll make my own, don't you worry. I'm rambling now. Uh, does anyone hate the sound of Lego being torn apart? I tell you what, I don't like the feel of it in my hands. It feels like it's going to shatter and stab me to bits. Right, so I need to get DO5, two Lego plates, a BO1 and a DO4. It's exciting. Right, not that one. DO3, not that one. DO4, BO1. Right, that one. DO5, oh no, hang on, DO4, so there's BO1, oh, and then this is DO5, and then I need DO4, what? You what, love? DO4, oh yeah, that's that one. BO1, DO5, Lego plates, yeah, yes, all right, all right, we're doing it. When is the complete show character Lego set coming out? God, I would love that. God, I would love that. A dirty little house of pickles. All right. Uh, 14. I need to get the the, the these two out. BO1, DO4. BO1, DO4. Oof. And link them. I've got to link them up. And then stick them. There we go. Put the empty over here. Right, here we go. This must be linked to this, which must be linked to this. And it wants me to do it how so? Excuse me while I use my poor eyesight. I'm going to presume it's this way. Oh, they, they label their own stuff, so they must have, this must be some good. Right, so it wants me to link these two. All right, well, there's only one, so I'll link these two then, I take it. Right, this is the fiddly bit. This is the bit that always drove me mad. Now, it's quite easy when you can just hold them and jab it together, but when you were doing the firehouse and you had to stick this to a wall and then you get your big fat fingers into the nook and crannies of all this stuff, I, there were times when I honestly thought I was gonna explode, but I didn't. Right. So in we go, I'm gonna try and stick this in gently at first, and then once I know it's in, I'll push it deeper inside and uh, push it all the way in until it comes any deeper. Here we go, there it is. And in you go, there we go, we're connected. Next. I presume it's that end, and that way down, there we go. Two holes, filled them. There we go. Connected, connected, I filled those two holes satisfactorily. Right, now what? D 
do 5 This is that big long one. So I've got to bring add that one to the end of this, do I? So this goes in the far end. Okie dokie. I hope this isn't this is exciting for you as it is for me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm having a ball. Right, what do I do with these two flat bits? Right, do I stick them to the stick them to the Lego plates? So I presume then stick them to the back. Falling asleep here, Mr. Fungasm. Mm. May my dulcet tones tickle you. Mm. There we go. There we go. <coughs> so this has to go like that and like that. Fairy do's, which means when you tear the stickers off, they will go like that and the wire out the back. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, should I just try and stick them on? Yeah, I should do that way. Bear with me, this is the bit I hate where my fingerless nails, or my nailless fingers, try and take the back off this sticky stuff. So I want to do this one first. Talk amongst yourselves, because this I hate this bit so much. I can't, can't, oh. I've been biting my nails all my life. That's my problem, all my live long life. And so, uh, I don't know if it's an anxiety thing. It's probably an anxiety thing. Oh, hang on. Here we go. I had to use my teeth there. Obviously I'm a professional, so you know, don't you use your teeth when you do this. Right, there's one stuck on. There's one stuck on. My mum once tried every trick in the book to stop me from biting my nails. So first of all, first of all, she got uh, one of those um, nail polishy things where you coat the nails. I mean, just look at those nails. Look at them. There are people right now being sick. Um, there are people who, uh, my mum got me this stuff you paint it on and it's meant to be so bitter and nasty that uh, it puts you off biting your nails. It didn't put me off biting my nails. In fact, I got accustomed to the taste like a person who, like a poisoner, who gets used to his own venom, that kind of thing. Um, and then she tried buying me these licorice sticks, which I think were just raw licorice bark. I certainly remember it being very fibrous. And uh, here we go, stick the next bit on, stick the next bit on here. Here we go. And again, I just devoured those. They became one of my favourite snacks. Also, I do have pika, which I know I've talked about a lot, but people go, oh, it's not a real thing. It kind of is. <laughs> I eat paper a lot and metal bits and things like that. So that was a thing growing up as a child. Uh, uh, without being too vulgar, anything would go in my mouth. Right, there we go. That's attached to there. Excellent. Uh, boop, be doop, 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 doop. Take that off. Put that there. Wrap it round here. Now, what about these wires? What does it want me to do with these? It wants me to drag them over the back and round the side. Again, here's the funny bit. Not funny bit. The annoying bit. The threading. When you have to uh, find the place for these bricks to go. I see. They want me to put the top back on straight away, which is good. Which probably saves a lot of silly bother. So that means I can probably have these come out the same. So they're going to come out the back way here. Right, good. We're, we're doing it. We're doing it, I think. Get in here, bastard. Right. Uh, there you go, you buggers. Right, so now we've got all these wires coming out the back. Which is prime, because it will probably come out this end and go into the back of the TARDIS. The other thing I'm not particularly happy about, which we probably won't get to because of uh, reasons, time being the main one, is that the TARDIS, the, 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 the connecting board, will end up going on uh, this part of the TARDIS. Because once it's connected, it's connected 
permanently because of the wiring and then you're left with a little reasonably ugly circuit board here but when you're displaying it theoretically it's out of the way so it takes what you can right there we go i love this little tardis i love its little heart i love that it's so blue and straight and smart it's got a little door and windows made of glass and if i had my own tardis i'd shove it up your ass a poem by paul gannon age five next here we go oh we're getting it right so i can put this to one side ladies and gentlemen a bit like blue peter this isn't it put this to one side because now we're getting to the bit i was most excited about le console which it's a little bit the way it's connected is a little bit shaky which i kind of understand because i know that the the whole sense of moving the dials around also I happen to think Peter Capaldi's uh, TARDIS, his latest, last design, the big, oh, I loved it. That was my favourite. Then followed by, because uh, I'm not a huge Doctor Who fan, but I know enough to talk my way around it. But my favourite might be uh, Paul McGann's from the, the shit 90s Canadian-American reboot Doctor Who. I loved it. I've got a thing about steampunk Victoriana, so that all works to that. But yeah, I, I, my, Capaldi's my favourite TARDIS out of all of them so far. Hot take. Right. Um, this is not fake Lego, by the way. This is real Lego, just just, just so you know. this I bought this second hand, but this is Lego. This isn't that uh, Lepin or whatever it's called. Which I've considered, because I've heard it's pretty good. Also, this isn't on the original uh, TARDIS. I just had bits left over, so I stuck it on the top, because pretty. Uh, yeah, this console. We're doing this bit next. Let's do it. Right. You want me to take it all apart, so i got to... Well, that bit can go over there. We don't need that anyway. So you can go on the roof. And we need to slide it out. Now, it's held together with these pins. Through the middle so it all should just fall apart once you start pulling it which i need to do carefully so let's do that there we go uh yeah uh yeah this can come off in one go that's good to know can it though actually does it though yes look at that oh funny thing Funny observation, I can't got nothing. Next. Uh, there we go. Like a Lego lolly. Uh, what else? Uh, pull, no, that stays there. All right, that's good. I don't have to fuck about with this too much. That was my worry, because this is quite a fiddly bugger at the best of times. And uh, as, uh, as shown here, so I didn't really want to uh, take that apart, to be honest. That feels satisfying, weirdly, in a kind of fidget cubey way. I could easily just fiddle with this. It, oh, look what I've made! I told this fidget spinner. Quick, call the BBC International, because I've got a hot new toy for da kids. I told this spinner thing. Look at that! I should be in charge of Doctor Who. Right, here we go. All the bits are separated. We're on there, we're at stage 20. Bricks must we need. I need two, I need the A1. Oh, then need, oh, A01. Right, A01. Okay. And the G01. No. Uh, there's no G01, is there? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> the 9 AO2. Right, so we've got the AO1s. What's the G01? EO3. That's the battery thing, so we don't need that till the end. And that's the DO5, and we've used that. Well, this is concerning. Let's have a look in here, just in case it's mislabeled. Oh. No, I don't, that's not that. 
So what should I have? I should have two little stickies. Oh dear. So it's saying I should have two little sticky bits, which I apply to the back of the other two AO1s. And then I presume that goes in there and sticks down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very, all of a sudden I've gotten quite confused. But that's mainly because I, oh no, hang on. Hang on. I think these are the blighters. And these are my least successful uh, elements because they're almost pointlessly unsticky. So let's see how this turns out, shall we, governors? Right, so they can go together. I don't need those two. So I'm just down to the wire, so to speak. What time is it? Oh, 15 minutes left. How much can we get done in that time? I'm surprised we've got this much done. Right, um, okie dokie then. So I need to get these and I need to stick it on there. So I need to use these little stickies to stick Right. Um, one, two, three, four. Right. It says I need four. AO1. Hang on, how many? I'm prob I do probably have the right equipment here, but for some reason, for some reason, does it say I should have eight of these when I've only got four? And where does AO2 come in? AO2, A19. Uh, there's no A19s. There's AO2. And that's for the other TARDIS. I have a horrible feeling that I don't have enough bits in here. Uh, oh! That's a twist. Shall we see? All right, so it says I need to have... Uh, oh, calamity, ladies and gentlemen. What will happen? Oh, no. Let's have a look at the user guide because maybe there's instructions here about what you get in it. The whole set. And you don't in that. You don't in that. You don't have a list part here either. That's actually a problem. And I don't believe I've misplaced any little bags. Oof. Um, right. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I got swindled, but I st it's be because I'm distracted by everything going on. I also realise I'm not. I don't quite have the focus I should. So maybe I do have these parts. But right now, it's looking like I need one, two, yeah, two of those, and they thread through there, and that's fine. And I need the A19, all right, that's fine, and the G01, so those stickers are there, and that goes on there, and they stick in there and down there. And then there's the A19, all right, cool. I'm talking this out loud, because that's what I do when I'm at work as well. I talk out loud to myself when I'm doing things. It's annoying, and I apologize to people nearby, but it helps me, because it seems like I'm narrating my own kind of protocol. Um, Right, I think we're all right. I think I'm just getting the numbers wrong. So the AO1s, which are these two left, stay through and get threaded through the top. Yes, and then the A19s are the ones we use for the end. Right, okay. Some were mislabeled and some weren't listed at all. Here we go. We've got 10 minutes. Let's see what else we can get done. It's exciting. Right. Right, so... It wants me to stick light there, light there, like that. Just like that. Um, also, thank you for the entries, people who have been sending them in, for uh, the Your Envision Song Contest that we're doing on Cheap Show. We'll do that sometime in June. We'll do the awards episode. We're pushing that back now due to all of this. So as a result, um, that will happen in probably July. And then we're going to figure something out for uh, the 200th. What we might do is something very cheeky, but it's something me and Eli have always wanted to do. 
and that is to release a very, 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 very limited edition vinyl episode of Cheap Show. That's as far as the thought's gone, because to make one is about 50 quid, and we were thinking about making four, one for me and Eli, and two to give away as a kind of 200th celebration. I don't know. We do want to do a live show, but that's obviously all up in the air too. So all I'm saying is at this point, we got plans. They're just they're just in flux. Uh, so yeah, I'd love to do a vinyl one. That's been a dream of mine. When I got into podcasting initially, it was listening to a lot of like Tell Him Steve Dave. And the only reason I stopped listening to that was was because I kind of got tired of um, the one who was in, um, what's his bloody name? I can't remember now. But the one who ended up being in, in Practical Jokers, uh, I got I got bored of him. He was like getting a bit too cocky and arrogant, and like you know, confidence is one thing. But like the tone just became a little bit more show busy, and I missed just Brian and uh, the other one talking. There you go. What's my point? Yeah, they did a vinyl album, and it looked brilliant. So me and Eli want to do a vinyl forty-five minute cheap show episode, a few songs few character bits, a segment or two reduced, something like that. See, this is the problem. I don't have nails and I've got to pick this apart and get the stickers off. It is not a good thing. Do I have tweezers? Do I bollocks? Tweezers are a good thing to have if you don't have nails. And I don't really want to have to use my teeth again because then it wettens the glue on the thing. So it just becomes a pain in the freaking ass. See what I mean? What's all this? I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. And to the people who were worrying about my appearance in Digitizer, was it a bit too real? It was just acting. It's, I find it very easy to play broken characters. Uh, right. Babylon is the best one. I used, I used to listen to Hollywood Babylon a lot as well. Uh, and I don't know. I think I only stopped listening to that because it got a bit repetitive in format. I, I'm sure people stopped listening to Cheap Show for the exact same reason. Which is one of the reasons why we try and vary up the form and the genre. Uh, and yeah, if the vinyl comes out, it will get ripped. That's not what I'm concerned about. I'm not concerned about the content leaking out and us losing money because you know free podcast, isn't it? But also, it's just like we want a vinyl. We want when this is all over, and many years from now, me and Eli, if we live through this, um, many years from now, me and Eli have only these things to look back on. I want to look back on my enamel badge and the show and the t videos we've done and I want to look back and have the vinyl and the artwork that everyone suggested and the magazines they're the things I want a little box at the end of my life and say that's your life and then I'll go oh god did Pop Bible get back to you uh, no uh, they did uh, I've been hesitant for a while but because it is our fifth birthday I paid for an advertisement in the Pod Bible, but that does come with uh, a recommendation thing on their app. It does come with an interview for their website, and it's a little bit more exposure. I'd had problems with Pod Bible, and I, to some extent, I still do with the content because I think it leans heavily towards the kind of content podcasting is getting known for, but is not what podcasting should be about. A lot of people who make podcasts just make radio shows but without the tracks in. Or even worse, they I can't do this. I can't fuck it. I'm, I'm stopping here only because I can't spend the next seven minutes just trying to get this off my finger so I can put it in here and then we can move on. I wanted to try super glue, but I, I don't know about how a good, much of a good idea that is for various reasons. It says to use these, I'm going to use these. Um... Also, I was thinking of doing a Patreon, um, uh, not Patreon, I was thinking of doing a mini disc episode of Cheap Show for when Mini Disc Day rolls around next year. Uh, I think it's February. Either way, I want to do it because um, I like I love mini disc. When people say, oh, forgotten format. No, if you watch that Tech Moan video, much longer life than even I thought. And I was a fan. Uh, so I'd like to do that. Uh, any more pin badges? Yes. That was something we were meant to do in time for the live show with Digitizer. And again, what's the point now? There's no show. So the plan is, yeah. Because I don't want to set up a website shop front because I, I haven't got the time or the focus to put that together. But badges more? Yes, definitely. 
I, I'm spending too much time with that and it's doing me head in. So I think that's a good time to stop doing this before I start crying and smashing shit up like a child. Just water. It's been a very warm day. Right. Um, yeah, I do need tweezers. I need tweezers and uh, better eyes and not to be an old fat bastard. But you can't have everything. Where would you put it? Right, I'll tell you what. Um, there's a few minutes left. Who got any questions? I uh, hope you enjoyed today's episode of Cheap Show. Pork hangover. I wanted to call it Special Boy or the Fall of the Special Boy. Uh, oh, now I've taken one side off. I shouldn't have because now I'm going to get the back of it all unsticky because of my stupid fucking... Oh, God. Right, I'll tell you what, I'm going to attach the light to it so at least it sticks to that before I ruin this. See, look at this. I don't I don't like this solution, but that's the one it says to go with. Stick it on these little pads. So I will, and I'll leave that. And then when later on, when I'm not on camera, I'll get a pair of tweezers, peel it on, and stick it on here. So I have to shove it in that little divot there. And then the other one goes there. And then I have to feed it through all these bits out the top. And then we start putting it together. So what I will do is, like last time, I'll probably on Twitter videotape um, uh, uh, these and then put them up on Twitter in segments so you can see the final thing. I was never going to finish it tonight. And after this debacle, and if I had more time, maybe we'd go through it. But right now, it's been nice hanging out for an hour, isn't it? What else are you going to do? Um... Uh, I don't want to tinker with my website. It's fine. It's just there. It's just it's just there to show we exist. I don't want to put a shop front on or or jump windows or pop out donation tabs. Uh, it's fine. But thank you all the same. Um, would you murder Eli if you locked down together? No. In fact, we'd probably just be too stoned to bother, and we'd live in filth until the lockdown lifted. And after a diet of pizzas for a few months, we saw how the world had changed, and we regretted our actions. Um, right so then I, if I could I could just I could just really force it in there and use the spongy bit to keep it stuck in but even then even then I don't like the way it sits in the hole but we'll see how it works out I mean it's not great but that's kind of what it looks like i'm going to get a pair of tweezers as well because that will help considerably and to be fair i might not even bother with the sticky on the back because i think once i press it into place and the wires are all wrapped around it should remain reasonably taut should we'll see uh right questions 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 if you have have you and eli managed to replenish your respective stash during lockdown respective stash of what food yeah we have had deliveries luckily my girlfriend's got amazon prime so we've been all right we have actually bought uh stuff for other people as well you know family and friends who are a bit stuck so we've been doing orders for them because we can um uh if you could commission any lego set in the world what would it be other than the cheap show set oh oh what was i thinking about earlier community maybe i'd like a community one i don't know you know the table and the the the, the room that they're in uh community the good Certainly deserves one over Big Bang fucking theory. What else? Ooh. Killer Clowns from Outer Space would probably be a fun set. Who Framed Roger Rabbit could be a who could be a fun Lego set. Or the films from the nineties. Uh let's have a look. Uh not a question, but cheers from the States. Thank you in New twenty eight. Uh what else? Would you be fine me posting some Lego in the post? We have our PO box, which if you want to send us stuff on Cheap Show, send it to the PO box. Uh, let me have a little uh, go with that. Come on, baby, you can do it. Where's the website? Cheap Show. Go to the main page. Here we go. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Right, the PO box is, oh, I can put it on there as well, actually. Cheap Show, P.O. Box 1271, Harrow, H.A. 3, 3, M.S. 
That's Cheap Show PO Box 1271 Harrow HA3 3NS. Tell us anything you like that way. Back to the Future DeLorean set. You know what? I think it's cool that they brought out a Back to the Future set, but I was not impressed with the way DeLorean looked. You can get a light set for that. But again, I can't just stop buying stuff just so I can get light sets. Ultimately, Ecto-1A is the final light set I want to get if I can get all the pieces together. Are you interested in my Mini Kong Man? Mini Kong Man? Is that like the Mini Tomy thing? The keychain version of Kong Man with the little magnet balls and the timing and the bridge and the bell? Because if so, yeah. I love all that Tomy shit. Uh, what else? Uh, Future Armor set would be good. Actually, yeah, Future Armor set would be brilliant. If they got to do Simpsons, why not do a Future Armor one? Someone did do a Columbo one. I love a Columbo uh, Lego set. On the ideas page, I think you get the car and a dog and Columbo. I'd love that. Um, I didn't get DeLorean that time machine. I didn't get the Dimension set. Uh, the Wii U at the time. I was buying games cheap. And now it's stopped doing it. I don't, I don't, know. I don't see the point. Um, if you could re reboot any classic British TV show that there's a game of, what, what would it be and what would you present? Probably You Bet. At a push. Can't really do a Crystal Maze because that's been done now. Maybe the adventure game. That would be fun to bring back. Uh, Double Dare. Double Dare. Or You Bet. You Bet was a great concept for a Saturday night show. I could bring that back. If you're not talking about game shows, I would bring back That's Life. I'll make a contemporary version of That's Life. Uh, oh, it's nine o'clock, so I'm going to sign off. Uh, one last question. Uh, thoughts on the beep? No, no, that's not a very great question. On the Playmobil Back to the Future, so it's fine, but I don't care for Back to the Future all that much. Um, Holy Grail of board games you would like to obtain? Weirdly, by accident, I've got them. Dark Tower, Hero Quest, uh, and uh, the one that I really love was the Noel's House Party set, but not because it's great, but just because it's stupid, and I've got it. So funnily enough, a lot of the board games that I want, I've got now. That's nice. I also have a lot of board games that I don't need and I now have. So coming up on Cheap Show, expect Bob's Full House. Expect uh, Every Second Counts. We will do a visual Double Dare one because we've got the Double Dare set finally. Mint in box. Apart from the box being shit. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's it. So to end on tonight, we're going to do a blast from the Cheap Show past. Uh, uh, this was taken, God, it must have been, what, five years ago? So what are we talking? 2015. God, we were doing the Uncleakables. It might be even earlier than that. This might be even earlier than that. It might be six years. Because I can't remember when I left London to go to Southampton. Time is fleeting. Um, anyway, it's a clip that I think really begin, began to gel the uh, Cheap Show formula and the antagonism between me and Eli. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed yourself tonight. Thank you for joining me. I, it's irregular, this, so we do our best, and I do my best to do it when I can. Um, I think the next time we do it, we're going to do a bit of board gamey stuff, so I'm going to play catchphrase with you all, and we'll get involved online. Oh, it'll, it'll be lots of fun. Let's even get Eli back as well. Um, if enough people want it, we will do a second Sword Variety performance in June, which we might do anyway, because that's our birthday month. Uh, what else? Support the magazine, go to the website, links there to Tony's Art, to Events Magazine, to uh, the voting for the Cheap Show Awards. If you want to carry on voting, the second round is now open. The link is on the main page there. My Unbound book, unbound.com forward slash books forward slash ghosts, uh, so I can write a book about my experiences ghost hunting based on my solo show from 2013. Ow, that long ago. And that's it, I think. Yes, we're going to end on this clip. This is me and Eli mucking about, eating baby food before we had any good reason to. Take care. Thank you very much for supporting us. And uh, patreon.com forward slash cheap show. Kapla. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the foreskin. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> How is it? Is he burped? Um, <laughs> I'm not burping him. You need to be spanked for Easter now. <laughs> hey! Hey! Then I'll drink some vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I can watch you nurse your ass. <laughs> Jesus.
so Do you want another bite or you can have any carnage? Yeah, actually, that was alright. Woo woo! Chuff 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 chuff! Woo <laughs> What's it like? It's quite bland. It's nice, it's nice. <laughs> Paul, are you alright? Jesus. No. <laughs> you will eat anything! No, it's not! Nice. It's just baby food! What? It's inoffensive! It tastes a bit like a. Uh, like um, a shit in my mouth! <laughs> it tastes a bit like a melted rusk! Nice! Who would like a try? Yeah. Anyone want to try? Oh, yes! Okay! Anyone agree? It's not too bad! You know what it is? It's just your association! You associate that with responsibility and sick! Yeah, and you know all of those pictures of babies with it all smeared all over their their fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Who wanted it? Who was it? Uh, all right, okay. I've got you a clean spoon so you don't get any of this, you know, germs. <laughs> My spoon's already in there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You ready? Oh, oh, she doesn't look happy. What did you think? It's not, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, it's good. Right. That's good. You're gonna have to try. You're gonna have to try harder to disgust me. I tell you that. Would you like to try some? Yeah, sure. there you it go. tastes like cum. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear that. I'm sure I wouldn't know. <laughs> oh, it tastes yeah. like cum. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, just to qualify. <laughs> Does it taste like cum, sir? Yes. yes. <laughs> On to the second part of the meal now. Just say, second part of the can I just say, it only tastes like cum if your boyfriend has been very considerate and has been eating a lot of rice pudding and bananas for weeks. For weeks and weeks and strawberries and stuff and those pills you get from Japan that make your cum taste nice. <laughs> This is your dinner. This is sweet squash and chicken. Oh no, I don't like it. Uh, it's organic, so... <coughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, just get the spoon in me! Hey, <laughs> That is truly, truly manky. Oh god. Oh. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> you put the rice pudding. You're gonna vomit. You're gonna vomit if you try that. I can't. That tastes like a tramp's cum. <laughs> So, question number two is, how do you know? <laughs> do you know how I know, Paul? Because I suck off traps all night! I do it all night! I'm filthy! They call me filthy Eli the trap sucker off at! How the fuck do you think I know? <laughs> Would like to try the sweet squash and chicken? Anyone yeah, would yeah. 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 want to give it to someone else? Who's going to be brave enough to try it? No. Right, you're going to try it. Right, this is a clean spoon, so you're going to be fine. Right, let's get it up. Ready? There you go. What did you think, sir? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> really bad, am I right? Really bad. That's just if, that's if your baby's been acting up all day. You want to punish the baby? I don't know if this meant to come out in the baby or came out of the baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's a shame, man. Anyway, it's nasty. Yeah. So we've got one last one. It is apple and pear pudding. Now that sounds right. Yeah? Well, yeah. It's usually apple and pear pudding. Yeah. 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 Now this one does smell like vomit. <laughs> right. I'm ready. Ready? I've got a mucky body. <laughs> <laughs> Don't turn what? this into something weirder than it is. <laughs> you're, the one, you're the one who decided to feed me baby food. <laughs> Just get into the character. The thing is, I was <laughs> in, in, 
in a pair of hampers and nothing else. <laughs> 500 quid. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready for the last one? Yes. Right, one second. Here we go, ready? Is it the bullet train? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the Forskin Express. Watch. <laughs> oh! <laughs> It's kind of a, it's got that apple to apple taste, yeah. Uh, it's a bit like, um, it's a bit like someone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just can't. I've got a bad gag reflex. That's you what really you really do, man. You gag at anything. <laughs> Are you right, Paul? No. I don't get to do the show without him. I meant to make you feel good on stage, not me. Yeah. <laughs> Who would like to try the final one today? This guy here, this guy here. <laughs> Which one? Come on, it's oh. lovely. Where is he? You, oh. you missed a bullet. It's that fucking carrot Sweden oh. nonsense one. That is the worst one. <laughs> okay, I need to go find yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> I'm about to stick it in her mouth. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> oh. Bomb it, go on. <laughs> oh, it's, it's fine. Right. Don't try some more. It's perfectly it's fine. fine. <laughs> His face was into like, I just came and now I regret everything. <laughs> I've got an idea though. Yes. Would you like to go and do you want to do the Brucey bonus? What's the Brucey bonus? I'm going to take a bit of everything on no. the spoon. Oh. Oh. Uh, I've got a strong stomach. You know what I used to do as a child? This is true for attention. Wank. <laughs> no, not wank. I used to swallow uh, live earthworms. That's true. I used to do it in the playground. What would you do? I used to swallow live earthworms. To get, to get kids to look at this me. This is stopping your show. It's a story of your show and become a self-help for you. Sure. Right, ready? That's how I ended up doing this, probably. It's a direct line. Look and now it's know. tramps. It's, look at this, ready? Last one. This is the super mashup version. Oh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah! 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 Got it! Yeah, here we go. I can taste the sweet, it's the sweet coming through. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, which one of those three do you like the best? The first, the uh, rice pudding. The I rice pudding? Yeah, I can well eat then, that. this is, you can go home tonight with the rice pudding. It's got everyone's saliva in it. <laughs> Surely that's a boon, right? It's not a boon. <laughs> you just rub it all over your naked body. <laughs> and then stick it all in your foreskin. I'm hoping then squeeze it up like a zit. This is degenerated, you know? The first time we did this, we had some nice crisps, you know, some unusual crisps. Some I sweets. did not realise that all I want to do in this segment is make you violently sick on stage. Is that I've not sank in Can yet? I have a request? Yeah, go on. Could I have some marshmallows next week? Please? Okay, yeah, I'll give you some marshmallows. Right. And? <laughs> and what? Secret. Okay.